What happened to a Las Cruces police officer earlier this year in a completely unprovoked attack is the true meaning of a tragedy. New video shows just how quickly a simple trespassing call turned instead into a deadly assault. This morning, Las Cruces Chief of Police Jeremy Story laid out a plan that he says will make his city safer. We want to be very clear and let you know that some of this video is very difficult to watch. Now, we have made the decision to edit much of it out of respect for Officer Jonah Hernandez's family and the law enforcement community. It is important, though, to understand how what happened that morning impacts Las Cruces moving forward. A trespassing call early in the evening on February 11th brought Officer Jonah Hernandez to a Las Cruces business. Surveillance video released by the city Friday shows the suspect, Armando Silva, arriving on the property earlier, which led to the call for help. Las Cruces police say there's a history of trespassing and vandalism at this business. Officer Hernandez arrives. How's it going, boss? He approaches Silva calmly. You been staying here for a while? What's up? Is this your place? So you're the one who called? You're the one who called? Huh? Hernandez is just a few feet away when Silva pulls out a kitchen knife. Officer Hernandez turns to get some distance, but trips. Silva pounces forward and stabs him multiple times. Seconds after the attack on Hernandez, Silva turns to confront a witness, Isaiah Astorga. That confrontation largely happened off camera, but Silva can be heard threatening Astorga, who then shoots and kills him. Astorga rushed to help Officer Hernandez. Officer, hey, hey, where are you bleeding? Another man ran to offer aid and used Hernandez's radio to call for help. Officer down, officer down. Where are we at? Valley and Amador, Valley and Amador. Hernandez leaves behind a wife and two children and his community crushed. I will not let Jonah's death be in vain and we will see positive change. On Friday, Las Cruces Police Chief Jeremy Story outlined six goals he said will make Las Cruces a safer place. In the short term, he says the department needs to hire 25 officers. He says there are some unenforceable city ordinances that need to be updated, and he wants to establish a real-time crime center. In the long term, he says New Mexico needs to address mental competency issues. He says too many people are being arrested and then being released because they are deemed incompetent to stand trial. There are zero consequences for all this crime, nothing. It's dismissal and that's it. There's no treatment. There is nothing that happens from all this crime. Story also demanded changes to New Mexico's bail reform system. And he says our state must address the fentanyl crisis, which he says is driving increases in crime. Prosecutors are not charging Astorga with a crime for killing Officer Hernandez's attacker. In Albuquerque, Griffin Rushton, KOB4.